ended up where I am now for, a, for one or two reasons, but something happened when I was 49 that made me look at life differently. And when I'd never done art since, since I was a child. But I ended up here, just that creative urge come back to me. I needed to make things. I needed to create things. I needed to leave a history. I needed to leave a legacy. I eventually I went to TAFE when I found out, when I felt that I could be an artist. I didn't even know what an artist was. I never knew an artist. I'd been to probably five galleries in my life previously, and that was normally, you know, um, touristy things. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I end, eventually ended up at TAFE, where I was introduced to all that was available to me to tell me story, to, t to create things. And I left TAFE as a painter. I enjoyed painting, it was relaxing. It was very, it let me do things. I was reintroduced to clay by a friend of mine and I started to do it, because I'd always done mosaics. I'd always done mosaics since I got out of hospital in 19, in, when I was 50, uh, 49. So I decided to start making my own tiles. And eventually um, I decided to make a figure, a, a three quarter size figure to put in an art prize. And I thought to myself, geez, I better make a Marquette. And since then, I've been making Marquettes. <laughs> I ended up uh, work sticking with clay because I liked it. I like the I like the feeling of clay. I like working with clay. I like the sensuality. It moves. It's forgiving, and it lets me tell my stories in a three-dimensional way. I get my ideas from figures, from observing people. I mean, people have always interested me. I don't particularly like them, but they interest me. And now, everyday figures, everyday people on how they work and how they move around and how they interact and it interests me and interests me and I, I'll sit in a coffee shop and listen and look. Normal people, mostly people that you see every day and everyday occurrences. So that's why, um, most, that's why my figures are like this. It's just narrative. They tell my story. Most, it is my story. They all, it's all introspective. My, well, my art is introspective. It's all got to do with me. <laughs> One particular work sort of comes to mind, which I put into Rookwood Cemetery. And it was all about um, a friend of mine. I'd just spoken to a friend of mine on the phone, or a friend of mine's wife, actually. She had just made the decision to put her husband into a home. He had a brain tumor. And she had to leave him there and walk away from her past. That was, that sort of was very poignant. It sprang to mind that that could happen to us all. So I, that was one particular work. That's what I see. That's my idea. That was one idea. That's where I got one, one of my works from, that phone call. When I was listening to her, she, it was a weakness. It was a, not a weakness. It was a, it was a real moment for her because she just made that decision to walk away, to walk away from your life. It was hard and that, that, was, that was one of my works. Another one I've done now is um, the, wor the work I've just finished, the, the green pot with the red figures. Again, it's about what's happening in, in, in my body at present, there's something funny going on. The red figures is this part. I made the red to stand out from the green so that they jumped out. I didn't want them to be part of the work. They're a foreign body and I want them, that's what I wanted to show. That's, that's, I love that sort of work. That's, that's what I do. It's, it's what I think about, it's what I feel. One of the big things about creating art, probably the big thing, <laughs> is the friends I've made and, they, and, and what else they've introduced me to. I was, I was introduced to opera by one of my friends, which got me into 
the drama of opera, opera the, the love, sex, death. So I did a work based on Tosca, where Tosca is straddling Scarpia. They've just had sex. He's got the freedom of passage for um, Caradossi in, a, in his hand. She pulls out a knife and stabs him. I love that sort of drama. That's, that was one of my works. I've moved on a bit since then into more observational, more personal works again, I guess. This little figure I'm working on now is, is one of my refugees from reality. The or the idea or the inspiration, you want to call it that, come from the TV and that stream of refugees walking through Europe, leaving one hell for another. I looked at that and I thought, geez, look at that. And that led me to Gates of Hell. And again, hell. So, that, so this was my next work. I want to do as many as I can within the next couple of months. And hopefully I'll get into an art prize I've got in mind. Uh, yeah, I've got no, I've got no uh, exhibitions planned at this stage. I just keep working because that's what I've got to do. I've just got to keep making stuff to leave. I just want to leave a footprint. I want to leave a legacy.